Hi there and welcome to this Tarot Advent series. It's the 19th of December and the card for today is the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is a, a, it's a really well-known card. You often see it as tattoos. And when you look at the card, you can see that it's this heart that's being pierced by these swords and there's the clouds in the background and the rain coming down. And so the message of this is it's representing some kind of emotional, intense emotional pain or suffering or some kind of hurt or wounding uh, at the heart level by usually by somebody else's words or actions. Uh, or it can be our own, like our critical inner voice that um, puts us down and makes us feel bad. Um, but the message in it with the clouds, especially, is that, you know, with the nature of clouds, once those have dispersed, then the sun is shining again and it's a temporary kind of setback. But the main um, advice of this card, if it resonates at all for you, if, that, if you're finding yourself experiencing any kind of um, upset at the moment is to really let yourself feel it. This is an important part of the healing process. So we're here to, you know, it's, it's a, in a normal part of being human. We have to uh, give ourselves permission to feel the things that hurt. Um, if we start pushing things down, then that that's what causes problems. So giving ourselves the space to, really grieve or feel the sadness or feel that anger and express the anger uh, in whatever way works for us, whether that's through beating a pillow or yelling or screaming or just really crying, or you might dance it out or uh, go and chop wood or get it out of your body in some way, but to give yourself permission for and time for this process, you know, let it move through your body and then you'll find that you'll start to get more flow again. Keep being willing to let go and feel the emotions, but don't let yourself get bogged down that by focusing through it and being willing to feel it all as it comes up in waves. Just honour yourself where you're at, but keep moving forward. And as you're doing that, be compassionate, be kind, and be really loving to yourself. Forgive yourself, forgive others if you can, and just really give yourself the time for this healing to, to take place. Because healing is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Things need to um, move through us. We need to integrate. So this card reminds us that by being willing to experience the discomfort and working through our pain and our suffering by this letting go and moving on. We grow as people. We, we learn from our mistakes. We build resilience and we learn how to bounce back even stronger so that we're even better able to handle um, bigger challenges in the future that will you know even further enrich our lives. So if this is resonating for you in some way right now, it may be that someone else's words have really hurt you, or they've cut you deep, or maybe your own self-talk is bringing you down. But you don't have to accept anyone else's opinions about you. Don't let their projected ideas about who you are be your truth. They are just opinions. You don't have to listen to them. Don't make that become part of your identity so that you're kind of telling yourself that that's who you are and that there must that you must be some sort of bad person because of what they've said so be mindful of also all the unkind limiting and critical self-talk that you have going on inside your own mind you know what you think you, about yourself when you're putting yourself down is also only coming from this small hurt egoic part of you and it's not the truth of who you are so don't believe everything you think, you know, and if you're strongly getting triggered, then see if you can be objective and honest and just check in with yourself to see if there is any truth about what, what they've said. Is there a younger part of you that's trying to get your attention that you haven't been aware of? You know, maybe that younger you needs your love and your reassurance and your attention because they're holding on to an unhealed wound from the past 
So if there's a message for you in the Three of Swords today, do let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.